Hey everybody, back at you here with another quick dip trace trick. Uh, this one's uh, one that pops up every now and then. Um, so here's a scenario. Let's say that you're working on a component, much like the one that I have here, and you have a pin on that component uh, that actually um, has several pads uh, on the footprint that correspond to the same function. Uh, a great example like I have here would be a ground pin. You know, this particular module has three pads in the footprint. There's really no benefit for me to have three separate ground pins on the schematic symbol. You know, it just takes up extra visual space and, you know, sometimes it confuses things. We can actually arrange things such or set them up so that we can have one pin attached to multiple footprint pads. Now, as far as how to do that, well, it's not too tricky, uh, but it's also not super evident. So we'll go ahead and go through that real quick. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to clean up my, my uh, pattern here to remove these extra pins. We don't need those anymore. I'll just cut those out of there. And we are left with our one single ground pin. Now for the magic to connect this to multiple pads. So I'm going to go up to a uh, pattern and you'll see my pattern pop up here. Zoom in a bit. Now here's that ground pin and you can see that uh, it had already been uh, set to this pad number one, which is a correct ground pin. Uh, but those other two that were there were deleted and that left uh, the other two ground pins not connected, which happened to be pad 11 and pad 12, which I know from the data sheet. Now to connect all these three together, uh, we'll start by clicking on the pin and then clicking the first pad associated to it. So now uh, the ground pin is, a, is associated with pad number one. And remember, we wanted to also associate pads 11 and 12. So now all we gotta do is click on that first ground pad, go up and click on pad number 11. And you'll see as I highlight, or hover over one of those rather, all three will highlight. That means they're all connected to the same net. So then to get pad 12 connected, you can just go back to one of the others that have already been selected, click on pad 12, and now all three are connected. So there you have it. Simple way to connect one pin to multiple pads. All right, thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.